What's up, people? We here we go with another episode of Throwback Thursday. We got F1 2012, and I'm gonna tell you. I mean, in my personal opinion, Code Masters are the best at making racing games. You know, from dirt to grid to F1, I think they're the best. I think these guys just really, really get it. And the cool thing is, is they really focus on it almost solely. I don't know. Is, does Cold Master, does, do they make any other genre at all? If so, I don't know. But, you know. So, now, I don't know a ton about F1. Um, I know, like, most of the stars. Sebastian Vettel, I know him. Mark Webber, uh, I, I think it's Vettel. Or, I don't know if it's Vettel or Fatale or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I know I'm familiar with the guy. Will Power, of course, like uh, Michael Schumacher. Those guys, right? I kind of, you know, I know a little bit, right? But I'm not as familiar with this as I am with NASCAR. And NASCAR is not, like, my number one sport either. So, but I, at that, at, you know, even with that, I feel as though I can still uh, appreciate a really good game. And I can also appreciate the skill that it takes uh, to excel at a sport. And uh, it definitely takes a lot of skill and a lot of teamwork to do well in auto racing of any kind, any type of motorsport, period. You know, oftentimes the driver is the one who actually gets all of the credit, but it's, that entire team, you know, is really what pushes those guys or girls to the, um, you know, to success. I watched the documentary. I can't even remember the name of it, but it came on ESPN, and it was all about the entire team involved in NASCAR. And once you, I mean, you may not love the sport afterwards, which I still wouldn't say I love it, but after you watch that, you definitely do have a respect for everything that goes into it. Um, now, this is F1, so which is different, which is actually more popular in other countries except, uh, outside of the United States, even though you do have some hardcore motorsports people who really get into F1. The, the deeper the car guy is, like the more technical they are, they probably like F1 more. And, and I might be wrong when I'm in, in saying that, but when you find a person or, 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 that's really, really, really into like the type of like more like advanced technology when it comes to auto racing or motorsports, a lot of times those guys, you know, they really dig F1, right? So this is F1 2012, and you can look at these graphics just... I mean, it's, this is on Xbox 360, but this looks good. It still looks good. And the game, I'll give it credit. Every every version of it looks better and better and better. So they do their thing. They really do their thing in terms of graphics. Now, I suck. I, I'm not good at racing games, period, just to be honest. If you guys just think about some of my Throwback Thursday videos, in term, they tweeting about it. They already tweeting about it. But if you think about some of the, the my Throwback Thursday videos... Um, that have racing games in them. To be honest, if you think about some of my Throwback Thursday videos, period, I, I usually don't do too good in them. And that, the, the big reason for this is really think about it. I don't play these games normally. These are games that I'm literally pulling out my pile of archived games and like, hey, boom, let's, let's play this for Throwback Thursday. Oh, no, bang, bang. See, I knew that was going to happen. But look at the little wood chip thing. That's really dope with gravel. I think that's gravel. That's gravel. Look at that. Is that not awesome? It's not awesome that I'm in here and now in 24th place, even though I was running the middle of the pack at first. But this visually, that looks pretty good. And you're going to watch over time, the gravel is just going to kind of come out of the treads. Just going to notice. It's just less and less. That is cool little detail. Don't kill the Pirelli sign. You did. You killed the Pirelli, the Pirelli sign. So, yeah. I'm I'm all the Sebastian Vettel fans. Please don't. Um, I think it's Vettel. I probably should have looked up the pronunciation of his name, seeing as though I picked him. But hey, I'm sorry. I'm chasing Kobayashi, and he's about four and a half days ahead of me. So this is like the 24-hour Le Mans, and he is uh, like four and a half hours ahead. So whatever. I'm doing the best I can. That's all I can tell you. But um. I, I mean, you know, I really have a lot of respect for this game. I don't play it a lot. This is not anything you're going to see a series uh, from me with and anything like that. And you guys know I'll do a series on basket weaving, whatever. But you, 
I'm not gonna, you're not gonna see me do a series on this, but it doesn't mean I don't like it. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. You know, sometimes you can appreciate something. You don't have to do it all the time. You know, that sounds like somebody telling their they wife that and when they didn't spend enough time. Oh, I lost a part of the car. Left a part of the car over there in the grass. Somebody telling their wife that it because they're not there enough. She's like, oh, you're never home. Sometimes I appreciate you, but just have to be, I gotta be with you. That would be really bogus, wouldn't it? You, find, you about to get a divorce or cheated on or one of the two, both maybe. It's crazy. You better watch yourself. But anyway, my car, now the only thing about it is I don't know. Somebody that's more technically inclined can correct me if I'm wrong here. But if I lost the front end of, the, of this type of a vehicle, a Formula One vehicle, would it be harder for me to control the car? Uh, because right now, I don't really see any difference in the way I'm controlling the car and the way I was before I lost that piece in the grass over there. So, and then, I will see, because I was making those mistakes before I lost that piece in the grass. So, as a matter of fact, I'm act. uh-oh, see, spoke too soon, in the grass. But, to be honest, really, as a matter of fact, I feel like I'm driving a little bit better now without that piece. There goes that Pirelli sound I tore up about uh, 20 minutes ago. But uh, anyway, yeah, I feel like I'm it feels like it feels like I'm driving a little bit better without that little piece. Maybe I just tear that piece off my car every time I drive. I just go outside and tear the piece off of my own car, and maybe I'll improve my driving. I want to, you know what? I would like to have a Formula One car just to drive on the street just one day. You're gonna get arrested because it's like illegal on the street, but you know. But they could they really catch me though? Could they really catch me? I hit a straightaway, and you can. You can wave, baby, because I'm going to kick it. Look, at I'm at one. I'm at 186 miles per hour now. Man, I'm tearing down 79th Street like, I'm out of here, baby. I'm tearing up grass. You understand? But that's a fantasy. That's what that is. That's an absolute fantasy. But um, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens in this game. You know what? Let me double check something. This is not. See, here we go. Real time research in Throwback Thursday, because I gotta look. What is the release date for F1 2015? Because if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think that it could be coming out. And this would actually be the. This is. You know what this is gonna be. This is going to be the actual, uh, the next gen debut for the game. From what I'm just reading now, this is something I'm reading right now. It's on Formula1.com. This actually came out back in July, on July 31st. Uh, the F1 game for PlayStation 4 is going to feature in season updates. It'll be the first time that they've ever done that. Uh, but I don't. Let's see. Okay, so they said that. That is going to be, that's next year's game. So obviously, you know, F1 2014 came out in October. But I was wondering maybe if, you know, this one would come out a little bit earlier in the year because of next, you know, because it'd be the next gen debut. But that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But uh, it, I'm, you know, hey, anytime you're, you got a series, a sports game series that's debuting on the next gen consoles. I'm going to want to see it. I'm going to have a special interest in that because, come on, you know what I mean? Um, I, it's going to be cool because it says next year's official F Formula One video game will be available, available on new generation platforms and will feature live in-season updates for the first time. Uh, the game is still going to come out. Well, it looks like it's going to be on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. I don't know. They don't have a confirmation yet about whether or not it's going to be on 360. It's going to be interesting to see how long all of these series continue to make games for 360 and PlayStation 3. In the meantime, by the time they stop making them, maybe Sebastian uh, Vettel will have finished this race. Oh, he did. Oh, thank you, Sebastian. My name is Sebastian. He finished his 24th, and I'm very sorry. Now, you guys are going to pretty much probably slap me, but Bruno Senna, that is probably a descendant of Ayrton Senna, I'm, isn't it? Okay, I might be dumb when it comes to F1 racing. I should look that up, right? In the meantime, while I'm looking it up, you guys, please subscribe, follow, you know the drill. Peace.